Hey, what's going on guys? It's Ben again, and I am at the Metro PCS booth um, in Columbia Mall, and this right here is the Samsung Galaxy S6. Now, I'll just quickly roll over here, and if you want an S6 of your own from Metro PCS, you can get it for $549 with an instant rebate. So, yeah, be sure to hop one of your own. But, we're not here to talk about that. We're here to talk about the phone. We've got the lovely person right there. Help me out with this video. And so, there's a sleeve. And here's some of the specs. 4G LTE, 64-bit octa-core, Exynos 7420 processor, 5.1-inch Quad HD Super AMOLED display, 16-megapixel rear-facing camera, 5-megapixel front-facing camera, wireless charging capable, Samsung Knox capable, don't know what that means, 32 gigabits of memory, and Android operating system. It's running Lollipop. So, I'm just going to unbox it. Styled unboxing. Um, oh, it's so hard to get out. Yeah, help me with that, please. Mm -hmm. And it has a sleeve on it, which I will try and... Get. Can I take it off? Yeah. Alright. So... Yeah. Shout out to her, she's really helpful. Um, but while she does that, I just want to show you... SIM card! Um, this right here. Looks like what... This is totally... This is the manual that... The literature that you are not going to read. Charger... Quick charging capable, I just want to show you guys. See that right there? Adaptive fast charging. This baby will charge 50% in like 30 minutes with the screen off. So I'm just gonna put that right back there. And I am excited. So this, like I said, it has 5.1 inch Quiet CF animal LED display. In the fingerprint scanner, there's a touch-based home button scanner. 16 megapixel camera, flash. It's a glass, metal, um, and aluminum body. Um, no micro SD card or removable, removable battery, so that sucks. Mm -hmm. But here we go, it's time for the first boot up. Alright guys, check that out. So while this boots up, I'll just show you that. That looks strange, like, like another competitor. Not gonna name who, because y'all can figure it out yourself. Oh, like thank you. Alright, now we got a stylish thing for... Alright, so now let's skip through all of this. <sighs> All right, so we are finally at the interface, and this is Samsung TouchWiz, and I'll just hop into um, the settings to show you that it is indeed running 5.0.2 Lollipop, not necessarily 5.1.1. And that does not raise my hopes for a Marshmallow update anytime soon, so... Yeah. So like I said, there's a fingerprint scanner, and it's supposed to be really fast to compete with the iPhone. Which this is, uh... Like I said... Okay, so if you slide here, it goes to Briefing instead of Google Now. It's such a heavy skin. Samsung says that they slimmed it down a lot. And it makes me believe it, since it's so speedy. So, with all this talk about that 16 megapixel camera with a flash and a heart rate sensor right there, let's hop into it, shall we? So I'll now hop into... Alright, I'll just take a picture of her, if that's okay with her. And I'll switch around to me. Hello! You can use the heart rate sensor once your face has been recognized, and it'll take a picture. It doesn't want to... Okay. Okay. All right, now let's get let's demo that right now. Uh, it doesn't want to demo. Oh well, but I can tell you it can record um, 4K at 30 frames per second, which is always awesome. It's got the capable browser and Google Now on or not Google Now Chrome, but you know, I prefer Chrome. It's just that guy. Facebook is pre-installed. It's weird. Not everyone uses Facebook, but that's okay. If you really want it off the phone, you can root it and take it off. Um, we slide down here, we get all this. Side up, you get nothing. Um, if you go here, like, you get all this, but you also have something like multi-window, which is always cool. I really like multi-window. You can run up side by side, which is really cool. It's one of the only things I really like about TouchWiz. And, yeah, so there's no double tap to wake, which there would have been but you can't ask for everything from it. Um, I mean, if I turned up the volume, like, oops, 
I'm t doing the wrong way. So you can hear that. Like they, I think on here it's not, doesn't have those annoying Samsung loop sounds. I mean, that's just me. Some people like it, but many people don't. And it has a really good feel in the hand with its rounded corners. I really like this phone, and it even has the IR port. Strangely, the Note 5 doesn't, which is really, really odd, but can't ask for everything. Um, along with the in Metro PCS, there's also the Grand Prime, which my dad has. I'll probably be doing a review on that very soon. And the Core Prime, which is a smaller version. So it's a really great device. It's a very clicky home button. Really like that. And there's that adaptive fast charging. Other than that, it's an awesome device. I can't complain about it, unless you don't like glass feels because it can crack easily, but I've seen drop tests on it and it seems to be pretty strong. So I would say this is a go-to and since it's at such a cheap price, you should probably get it at Metro PCS. And other than that, that has been my unboxing of the um, Samsung Galaxy S6. Fortunately, I couldn't get the S6 Edge, but I don't care. Personally, I prefer the regular S6 over the Edge because the Edge is kind of harder to hold and I, I don't think the Edge is really there yet. And, yeah, I turned that off. Um, but other than that, great device, lovely device. This is, again, one of my should have done a long time ago videos because, you know, this has been out since March. And I can't wait to see what the S7 brings that the, X, not the S6 didn't. Now, this is supposed to be a mainstream Samsung, and the Note line is supposed to be Samsung showing. You want me to do it? I'm sure. <laughs> uh, okay, and now we'll put it back in. I'll slide that back in. I hope somebody buys this because it's a great device. Only one, too. Only one. Wow. Hope that one lovely person is very happy with it. So that's been my unboxing of it. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Add it to your favorites. Helps out the channel a lot. If you're really feeling generous, click the subscribe button. Anyways, guys, we'll see you guys in the very next one.